cold water immersion, cryotherapy, cold showers, and things like that all can boost levels of a neurotransmitter in the brain called norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is sort of like a chemical messenger involved in focus and attention. I would say the water is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius, which is very cold. It's a major stressor, so my body right now is having a fight or flight response. Heart rate is increasing, um, probably to make sure that blood uh, is continuing to flow to my vital organs. Probably what's happening uh, is a bit of thermogenesis, which is when your body generates heat, and in doing so, it burns calories. So that's really good, it increases your metabolism. You know, it's, it's painful, but, but mentally, it feels so good. This is a great way to enhance resilience, uh, mental clarity, focus, um, boost metabolic health. One of the few instances in life where it's painful but worth it. <laughs> so this is called a dynamometer. This measures grip strength. Okay. The reason why we're gonna measure your grip strength is because grip strength recently in a study of 140,000 people was found to correlate very tightly with reduced risk for early death and cardiovascular disease. I have a feeling, I have a feeling you're gonna, you're gonna do A-okay, you're gonna pass So what do you do? Covers. Well, so you practice first of all. Well, basically you wanna have a strong grip yeah. But uh, what that study, called the PURE study, um, really tells me, the way that I would interpret that is having strong muscles in general is mm -hmm. very good for your health. Um, so this is what you do. You want to just squeeze this. So am I supposed to try and squeeze as hard as, as I can hard as or can. just natural? Yeah, yeah, because it's going to basically... Oh, it doesn't move. I wanted it to move. <laughs> I thought it was going to do this. It doesn't. <laughs> all right, so after you've given it your all, let's look at what it says. Good job. Wow, strong. Good! Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Woo! That makes, me, that makes me really happy. So what they found was that grip, grip strength was a better predictor of a long life and reduced risk of um, death, death from cardiovascular disease. And so, you know, in regards to the brain, the brain relies on vascular health. Yeah, yeah. So even though this study wasn't directly tied to brain health and Alzheimer's disease, dementia, things like that, what we would consider like the worst possible brain health outcomes, what it tells me is that having a strong grip, strong muscles throughout the body is really good for brain health because the brain, the, you know, what's good for the heart is good for it's the good brain. It's good for the brain. Yeah. These are really fun. <laughs> This is uh, one of the most powerful foods that you can eat for better health. These are called broccoli sprouts. Essentially what they are are baby broccoli sprouts. Yeah, That's it. I'm not a genius, but <laughs> I'd say they're broccoli sprouts. <laughs> yeah. People, I mean, they're not, they're not commonly consumed, so you know, I, get, I get some people confused by it, but this is how you make them, okay? They're really easy to make. You can buy them in a store, but it's much cheaper to do it this way. You take broccoli seeds, you put them in a jar, you put some water in the jar, just like that, and you let it sit for 12 hours, okay? What that's gonna do is it's gonna activate the seeds. And then you can put a sprouting lid on top of it. Right. Um, if you don't have a sprouting lid, you can easily use a, a coffee filter. Oh, that's cool. And a rubber band. Yeah, so you Same put that deal. over the seeds, and then you dump the water out after 12 hours because the seeds have been activated, and then you begin a cycle of every day uh, filling the jar up with water and then rinsing the seeds out. Right, right, right. Um, twice a day, and after three days, you get these beautiful things. It's like a Chia Pet when you were kids. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. But Rachel, so here's why these are so special, okay? So, you know, we know that, that cruciferous vegetables like broccoli have very strong anti-cancer potential. Absolutely. Right? Anti-carcinogens, yeah. But um, broccoli sprouts, one pound of broccoli sprouts is the equivalent of 100 pounds of broccoli. Shut the in terms of really? their Yeah, in terms of, in terms of their anti-cancer potential. Wow. Especially in regards to one particular chemical called sulforaphane. Hmm. Now, sulforaphane is really interesting. It's not a vitamin, it's not a mineral, but what it does is it basically stokes your body's own antioxidant pathways. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's incredible. That is incredible. It's like software for the body. Could you just listen to this stuff all day? I find this so fascinating. I really do.